Hi, this is Tim from Digigate, and today we're going to be looking at a complete setup tutorial of your Digigate system. This will include setting it up to your electric gate and also connecting to the internet and completely configuring your Digigate app. In our example, we'll be connecting to Wi Fi, but connecting to Ethernet is pretty much exactly the same. Now, the first step is to connect two cables to your electric gate control board. The first one goes to a normally open connection and the second to a common connection. If you don't know where these connections are on your control board, please get in touch with us. Step two is to connect these cables to terminal point one and terminal point two of your Digigate system. It doesn't matter which cable connects to which terminal points. Step three, if you're using an ethernet connection, connect it to your Digigate system. And connect the other end to a network hub, a switch or an ethernet over power device. If you're using Wi-Fi, please insert the Wi-Fi dongle into any of the USB ports. If you purchased a GSM module, please insert a full-size SIM card into the module. And then insert the module into any of the free USB ports on the Digigate. And the final step is to insert the micro USB power into the power slot and switch on the Digigate system. So now we need to configure our Digigate system. So after downloading the Digigate app, for iOS or Android, you need to open the app and then go to add a Digigate. On Android, this might be in the top right corner. And we are presented with get started. So we are going to use the first time setup option. And in this example, we're going to start by configuring Wi-Fi. And we've already done step one, two and three of these options. So I'm going to select next. Now this is where I need to connect to the Digigate Wi-Fi and the password for your Digigate Wi-Fi is Digigate and the last two characters of your Digigate secret code. So I'll just go to my app settings now to enter this in. So I can see the Wi-Fi network Digigate so I tap to select this and now I'm going to enter the password which in my case is Digigate 6F, yours will be different. And once it's connected, we can return to the Digigate app and say, I'm connected. The app will then determine if you are connected successfully and take you to this screen. So we tap next. Now the app will show you all Wi-Fi networks that Digigate can possibly connect to. So what we recommend is you choose the network with the highest signal rate. But in this case, we will choose a different one and we'll now enter the password for our network and start connecting. Once the connection is successful, you will see this message. If for any reason you get an unsuccessful message, what you can try is plugging the Wi-Fi dongle into a different USB port and trying again. So in the next step, we need to enter the Digigate connect code. So in our case, it will be demo.digigate.me. Every connect code is on the secret Digigate card, which you will receive in the box. So we tap next. This will be verified on the Digigate system. Now we enter the secret code, which is at the top of that card. Once we've entered this in, we tap next and the Digigate will verify the code. Now we are going to create our admin mobile app account. So this is where you need to choose yourself a username and also a password. Please be aware that the password has to be quite strong in order to succeed. So once you've entered a username and password, tap next. The system will check to see if the account already exists. And if it doesn't, it will take you to the next step. Now you need to select whether you purchased a GSM dongle with your Digigate or not. If you did, please select yes, I have it here. So we did, so we would select this option. Now we're presented with a screen on how to install the GSM dongle. Step one, top up a SIM card with credit or use a SIM which is on a contract. Step two, deactivate voicemail on the SIM card. Now this is important for when somebody calls the gate, they do not want to be sent to voicemail when it automatically hangs up. We just want the call to be cancelled. Step three, insert the SIM card into the dongle and plug into any of the free USB slots on the, the Digigate. So we've done that already, so we'll tap next. 
So this is where we enter the phone number of the SIM card. This is the number that will be dialed within the app when you want to open the gate. Now this next page is where you enter your name and your phone number. So this basically grants you access to open your gate with a phone call. You can add other phone numbers later. After you've entered your details, tap next. And now we have the GPS setup page. This is where you can enter your location and region. And when you enter the region, provided you have enabled GPS beforehand, the DigiGate will open the gate. If you would like this to be completely automatic where you never have to touch your phone, you will need to follow the other DigiGate tutorial on IFTTT and GPS setup. So please skip this step now if you would like GPS control to be totally automatic. And now we're greeted with an almost finished page. This is where you can choose your name for your DigiGate system. And this can be changed at any time. It's basically just so you know exactly what device you're controlling. And once you choose finish setup, did you get setup complete page will appear and you can tap let's go and you notice on the main screen you now have a DigiGate system which you can control from your mobile app. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Please call us on 01293 279 700 for further help or alternatively you can go onto our website and open the chat window for instant help. Thank you.